As you can see, making a, a bed, a curved bed with oblong sheets, eight foot up a ladder, isn't the easiest jobs in the world. Be a new Olympic sport, we reckon. God, what a way to earn a living. There you go. I defy any two year old to make a bed better than this. All I've got to remember now is whenever I get up for watches, is not to forget I'm eight foot up and jump out of bed like I normally do. Sinister is defrosting. The horror of Dracula's lava to form pure soap opera. Humans from ITM. Sarah's mm -hmm. 3046.2. We are in hot pursuit of the alien vessel which destroyed the 
what would it come down to hard acting? Oh, thank you for letting me help you wash up today. Yes. That's all right, you're most welcome.
this is Christmas Eve on the Needles, 1992. And you're asking my feelings on what Christmas Eve is like here. Well, apart from decorations, Christmas cards, the flower over the television set, um, all these goodies over here, it really seems just like another working day to me. And the only difference is the programs on the television. I think you get really keyed up to come out on any relief, and uh, whether it's Christmas relief or not, just see this as a normal term, and all this is really a, a bonus. But as regards to watch keeping, that's very much the same. Um, I don't think any of us would go to overindulge like on some sessions, <laughs> apart from my colleague over on my right shoulder. <laughs> but feelings about it, it doesn't seem like Christmas this year at all, to be quite honest. Even before I came out here, we had the presents at home and the decorations, and my little son was getting a bit keyed up about it. But uh, still, has no Christmas atmosphere, really. I don't know why. It's maybe aging, <laughs> the aging process. But uh, I think we'll make the most of it. Uh, we'll just see how it goes over the next 24 hours or so. Over to you. Well, I think all I can say is Christmas and humbug. Um, no, not true. I'll have Christmas. Um, came as a bit of a surprise coming out of here because I'm on a standby duty rather than assigned to the station, so I was geared up to Christmas at home. But we put the decorations up this morning and we've got the Christmas goodies over there that Jerry pointed out. I feel a bit more Christmassy, especially with the Christmas carols. Um, I think I'm going to enjoy it because apart from the cameraman, everything seems fine out here. Thank you. Yeah, the other thing I'd. Right, the other thing I'd add is with this carol service coming from King's College Chapel, Cambridge, I had some of my best Christmases when we lived in Cambridge. That was from 19, <coughs> 1958 <laughs> uh, till 1964. And uh, I think this usually typifies what Christmas is, is about in a way. It just, just carols, especially from, from uh, Cambridge, which obviously had a very happy association. It had some good Christmases out on station, I must say. But everywhere I've been, where I've had to have Christmas on duty, I've had a good time. Had a good crew, plenty of goodies, all chipped in, and uh, tried to make the most of a bad job. Which I think is probably the, the most important thing. And that's what we'll do tomorrow. Yeah, that's what we'll, we'll do, do tomorrow. tomorrow. With our colleague, the chicken, sitting over there. Hey. And the booze. We'll, we'll have a nice day. Round of applause for the chicken, please. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes, it'll be a good day. We'll be okay. Yeah. As long as the fog stays away. Oh, yes. 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 Yeah. Well, my views on Christmas Eve on the Needles, uh, well, it doesn't feel too much like Christmas Eve to me yet, because I'm missing the kids and the wife. And of course, tonight, we'd, when they get to bed, we'd uh, get all the presents around the tree, so you miss all that. But um, it's a good crew out here. We haven't got any killjoys, and they're all nodding. <laughs> <laughs> so, as long as the fog stays away, as they were saying, because all last night, it was fog all last night, so I woke up today to a blinding headache, so just stay away for Christmas Eve and Christmas Day is all I ask. Right. 
the northeast of Liverpool, about the three, as you like to see, and it is, it is two miles on the west.
I proposed to my wife on a flat home. Oh, did you? Sat there for a week or ten days. ...to be expected of a holder of the Victoria Cross. However, what struck me more forcibly than his physical courage was the fact that he made no reference to his own illness, but only to his hopes and plans to make life...
is a roll. Yeah. Uh, oh, there's a strip off. Yeah. Bang! Yeah. There's a bang! <laughs> oh! Ah, a magnifying glass. And a key. Which was success. <laughs> <laughs> Right. What walks on his head all day? BK, Australian my head keeper. A drawing pin stuck in your shoe. Mm. Feeble. <laughs> okay. Oh, Perhaps we should have had a few more of those before we pulled the crackers. Yeah. We'll have that off then. <laughs>